be dead soon. Too bad. My name's Jeb, and this is goodbye. I need a better solution for the heat problem. Burying the hydroponic tubs doesn't seem to be enough. Adding nutrients seems to set it off too. Maybe it's impossible. Smells good. Perhaps the heat takes us all in the end. Is replacing old plants with new the only option? A waterfall effect could be achieved with an electric pump. Water would be pumped from the bottom of the reservoir to the top and then trickle down the roots. Electricity is nice, but I want to try out a gravity-fed system. Three points define a plane. Hopefully this float will be stable. This video is sponsored by Happy 14th Anniversary to Mars Hydro. Mars Hydro has been in business for over 14 years by selling high quality grow lights at an affordable price. Use the link in the video description and the Jeb Gardner coupon code to buy yourself some Mars Hydro grow lights. The little water bottles were too flimsy. These jugs should be more stable. Fancy fittings won't be necessary. The floating wire will push the drip nozzle into the weather stripping. The 
problem with this design is that the flimsy nozzle gets turned to the side instead of pressing into the brick. Maybe I can trick a float valve into doing what I want. The key will be getting the liquid from the top-off tank to trickle down the roots instead of just filling up the reservoir. Let's get a plant in here. Immortal machine guide our path. The buried totes are struggling along. Here you can see the consequences of the recent die-off event. Even the small plants are affected. Are we getting the waterfall effect in this one? Only time will tell. The totes with frogs have less mosquitoes. Maybe something a little different will help with the mosquito issue. Does the plastic lid have enough flex? for a floating dripper effect. It seems like something with fewer moving parts might be more reliable. support at all.
The growth pattern on this one seems quite promising. The lid needs to flex on this rig, so I thought the tomato might put its weight on the bottom of the tub. The heat has come. Something lurks under the lid. The path ahead seems rocky. thick stem is interfering with the mechanism. It seems the plants are always taken just as they begin to fruit. Try putting together a traditional top off setup. <laughs> Using window screen instead of a net cup could help with the mosquito issue. But it might be too late in the year to try new things. The tomato cage could also hold the net up. Thank you.
One by one, the heat will now take them. this jug in a lid idea. I need something to hold the plant up though. If it's strong enough to hold up a tomato plant, why can't it carry the top off tank as well? the strength I need. It might be mosquito-proof and self-contained. But I'm out of time to know for sure. pattern of life and death is inevitable. Saying goodbye to the garden in winter almost feels like saying goodbye forever. garden for the new owner.
trees and shrubs from the past remain. So this is the end. Of course, every end is actually a beginning. description to buy yourself some Mars Hydro grow lights. <laughs> <laughs>